How to change the bone structure of your face. Welcome to my first full YouTube video. And in this video, I will teach you how you can completely change the bone structure of your face and become much more attractive by applying the information in this video. Before we dive into this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment so I can keep making more high quality videos for you guys. Enough said, let's dive right into it. First of all, you need to understand the structure of the skull and what it's made of. You see, the skull is not one big bone that just stops changing after you are 18 years old. No, it's quite the opposite, actually. The bone is made out of 22 different bones, and each one of these bones is connected to each other with connective tissue called sutures. See your sutures like the glue which holds together all your facial bones. And now imagine what happens if this glue is really tough. The bones of our skull will be stuck. And this is what happens to most people. The glue that connects their facial bones hardens so much that their face won't undergo big changes anymore after puberty. That's why the first step to achieve great changes is by letting your glue, or sutures, become softer. This way you allow your facial bones to finally move. For the sutures to soften you first of all need to hydrate them very well. And while this may go against everything you learned, you don't hydrate soft tissues well with water. Drinking pure water will even dehydrate and harden your sutures even more, so you want something else. What you need is raw, saturated fat. Think about a rough clockwork that needs to glide better, and what you would use in such a situation. You would use some fat or oil. Your sutures work the same way. In order for them to get loose and glide, you will need to lubricate them with fat, and you do this through increasing the intake of raw saturated fat in your diet. The best sources of raw saturated fat are raw milk or other raw dairy like butter, yogurt or cheese, egg yolks, fat-rich fruits like avocados and olives, and just almost every other animal product. Eating good amounts of these foods will lubricate your sutures very well, and on top of that will also have some more additional benefits like clearer skin and increased levels of testosterone. The next part to relax your sutures is already a bit more complicated. You will relax your sutures by the correct use of breathing. Imagine you are stressed, scared, or in a fight. Your entire body will tighten up. You can feel it. This happens to the sutures in your skull too. They tighten up completely. To counter this, you need to regain proper breathing, which will eventually rid you of this tightness in your sutures. Here's an exercise for you to get started on. Sit on your bed with legs crossed, eyes closed and back against the wall. Relax your body. Become conscious of the air you are breathing. Notice how it feels in your nose then throat down the windpipe, expanding your chest and finally your diaphragm. Repeat this very slowly. After doing this for a while you will obtain full sensation of the air you are breathing and slowly you will start to feel your own body better too. Since you now can feel your own body better, you can start to completely relax and imagine the sutures in your skull softening. Okay, now we have softened the sutures, your facial bones become much more malleable, meaning that you can change their position more easily, and this is exactly what we want. Now to change your facial bone structure for the better, there are a few tricks that help, but they can all be simplified. The first one is having proper tongue posture, also known as mewing. When having proper tongue posture, your tongue is suctioned to the roof of your mouth and not pushed. Pushing your tongue to the roof of your mouth is only effective for a few select people that already have a well-developed and wide upper palate. Okay, how do you get your tongue to be suctioned against the palate and not pushed? You do that the following way. Get a glass of water and take a small sip of it. Start smiling and show her teeth while doing it while still having the water in your mouth. Then completely swallow the water while still smiling. You just swallowed the water using only your tongue, since your cheek muscles were unable to engage since you were smiling with them. Now you should keep your tongue where it is, after you just swallowed that bit of water, and keep that suction throughout the entire day. If you do this, I assure you that you have correct tongue posture. Next thing you need besides proper tongue posture, is just proper overall posture in general. For example, if you have a forward head posture like this. Your facial bones will adjust to that incorrect posture, causing you to have a less attractive face. Now what is important to keep in mind is that you don't want to force a correct posture and just stand straight like a pencil. Since posture is very individual for everyone, your posture is an adaptation to what is going in inside your body. Here is one example. Imagine a man that just lost his mother and is now at her funeral. You will be able to see that their head and shoulders will drop forward and that they will have a suboptimal posture. And now look at someone that is very happy and confident, for example, someone who just won the lottery. You will see that they walk very straight with their chest forward and head aligned with the rest of their body. They have correct posture. 
This is because posture is an adaptation to the emotional state you are in. How do emotions affect our posture? It does this through the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system has two branches, the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system is when you are in rest and digest mode, you will be very calm, breathe slowly, produce testosterone, and most importantly, you will have a good posture and tongue posture. The sympathetic nervous system is when you are in fight or flight mode, your body won't spend any energy on rebuilding itself, but instead waste it all on survival. When in the sympathetic nervous system, your heart rate and breathing will speed up. You will be anxious and stressed, and since it is the opposite of the parasympathetic nervous system, your posture and tongue posture will worsen. Also, what is important to mention is that the sutures of your skull, which we discussed earlier in this video, will become softer when you are in the parasympathetic nervous system and tighten up when you are in the sympathetic nervous system. Emotions are a big decider for in what nervous system you will be at the moment. Positive emotions like happiness, confidence and love, for example, will trigger you to be in the parasympathetic nervous system, whereas negative emotions such as anger, guilt and sadness will trigger you to be in the sympathetic nervous system. So the man that just lost his mother we discussed earlier in this video will likely be in the sympathetic nervous system, and the man that just won the lottery would be in the parasympathetic nervous system. But there is more than just controlling your emotions to get into the parasympathetic nervous system. Something which works very well is stimulating the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is one of the longest and most important nerves in your body. This nerve is also the most important nerve of your parasympathetic nervous system, and this is the reason that when you stimulate this nerve, you will enter the parasympathetic nervous system. Now there are a few ways to stimulate this nerve. First one is singing, humming, or chanting. These activities can help stimulate the vagus nerve by activating the muscles in the back of your throat which are connected to the vagus nerve. Second one is deep breathing. Taking slow deep breaths can help stimulate the vagus nerve. Try taking a deep breath in for six seconds, hold it for two seconds, and exhale for six seconds. Do this for at least 10 minutes daily to get the full benefits. Number three is chewing a gum. Chewing a gum also stimulates the vagus nerve. I recommend you chew a tough gum such as the mastic gum I have linked in the link in bio. I you do all of these things regularly, I assure you that you will become much calmer and more parasympathetic oriented. Now the last thing you absolutely need to do is the following. Massage your chewing muscles. If you do this, you will become more attractive immediately. Let me explain. The masseters are the chewing muscles that are located on either side of your face and are connected to the lower jaw, upper jaw, and your cheekbones. The masseters are the strongest muscles in your entire body and can generate forces of up to 400 kilograms, which is just as much as the weight of an American crocodile. Since this muscle is so strong, it literally has the capacity to alter the bone structure of your face. As was already said earlier, is that the masseter connects your lower jaw and your upper jaw and cheekbones with. What will happen if the masseter muscle is too tight, is that it will pull your upper jaw and cheekbones down and backwards. This will cause your face to have low cheekbones, a recessed lower and upper jaw. And since these muscles are probably not equally as tight, they will also cause asymmetry in the bone structure of your face. To counter this, you need to release tightness in the masseter muscles by applying a warm compress to the muscles or directly massage them with a tennis ball, both for 15 minutes. I will promise that if you do these both, you will immediately notice your face to be more attractive and symmetrical. This is the end of the video. I promise you that if you follow all these tips, I just gave you that the bone structure of your face will change so much and you will be absolutely unrecognizable in a year. Make sure you subscribe, like and comment so I can keep pumping out more high quality content for you guys. Also make sure you follow my other social media to learn more. See you guys later.